I think this is actually a moment as we're kind of thinking about re-engaging with the Iranians to start to think a little bit big picture. Uh, I agree completely with Tom. I don't see breakthroughs coming out of Almaty. I think that it's a moment when we need to, to put down some very important markers to the Iranians. I agree with Tom. I think that we need to say to the Iranians, we are serious about a deal, and we truly would be willing to lift the sanctions, and I'd go beyond that. I'd like to see the United States saying we are willing to provide even more meaningful benefits to the Iranians in return for their willingness to make the kind of compromises that we need from them, exactly along the lines of what Tom is suggesting. But I think what you're getting at points to some bigger picture issues. On the Iranian side, again, as Tom has already suggested, I think the Iranians need to ask themselves whether they are willing to strike a deal and live by it. I agree with Tom. I think the Iranians have been hinting broadly at it. I think that the Iranians have kind of put out there the fact that they would be willing to stop at the 19.75 level of enrichment, and they would be willing to accept at least the additional protocol, maybe going beyond that. And I think that you, know, you can kind of broadly see the outlines of that deal. And I think that the United States, for its part, has, has kind of sort of hinted at that as well. But I think on our side, we've also got a lot of work to do. And I think in particular, while it's certainly the case that the incremental approach that Tom has laid out, I think can get us there, it's only going to get us there if the United States, and that means the whole U.S. government, is actually willing to accept the end state. Okay? And the end state is going to be an Iran that is limited, that is bound by inspections, backed by the threat of renewed sanctions, but ultimately is going to have some enrichment capability. And one of the things that I worry about is whether the U.S. government, the whole U.S. government, is going to be, whether, is going to be willing to actually live with that. 